Hi there. Today we're going to set up a Gunbreaker cross hotbar for players who play with controller on PC or console. You do not have to be level 90 to set this up if you want to get a jump start on a consistent cross hotbar. This one was a doozy for me to figure out. But you only have to set this up once and it will work for any content level you play. You'll never have to adjust for syncing purposes. I build these with the mindset of having the most important abilities with low cooldowns on the bottom cross hotbar for ease of access and longer cooldown abilities on the top cross hotbar. I separate these into four sections in my head, right trigger one, right trigger two, left trigger one, and left trigger two. So I have a disclaimer for the setup of Gunbreaker. The opener for Gunbreaker at level 90 is a beast. Aligning cooldowns and there's quite a bit of double weaving consistently with Gunbreaker, so just be mindful of that. This setup is with the 123 No Mercy opener in mind on the Balance Discord. The abilities are placed very specifically for that reason. Now, if you're doing casual content, I would still recommend practicing the proper opener for any job as it's only going to make you a better player instead of button mashing. I practiced this maybe for 30 minutes to an hour and almost got it down perfectly. If you want the other tank controller guide setups, those will be linked down below in the description box. Right Trigger 1 is always our main GCDs, Keen Edge, Brutal Shell, Solid Barrel, Easy Peasy 1, 2, 3. We also have our single target damage over time, Sonic Break. Moving to the Right Trigger 1 D-pad is our OGCD Weavables, No Mercy which is the star of the show for Gunbreaker. You always want to shoot for around 9 GCDs in the window of No Mercy. You also have Double Down, Blasting Zone, and Bow Shock. The reason these are in these specific spots is once we enter our Gnashing Fang combo, we jump straight into Double Down and then Double Weave, Blasting Zone, and Bow Shock. And then go into our single target damage over time Sonic Break. If you notice, all of these except for Blasting Zone have all the same cooldown timer of 60 seconds. So Blasting Zone you'll use twice in that 60 second window, but all of these will be on cooldown around the same time. This makes double weaving Blasting Zone and Bow Shock way easier. Right Trigger 2 is for our damage mitigations. I always keep Rampart and Reprisal in the same position for all tanks as well as that special ability for each tank which Gunbreaker is Nebula. I usually have a gap closer here but opted for our last damage mitigation for Camouflage. This keeps the mitigation nice and neat in a little corner so we can focus our main attention on the very, very, very busy Gunbreaker rotation. Right Trigger 2 D-pad is our range aggro, interject, and invulnerability. Range aggro, invul, and interject are always in the same spot for each tank as well. The last spot is a flex spot, but I don't really put anything here because after testing and testing, nothing really fits right there for my personal taste, so I just leave it empty. Left trigger one is always our AOE GCD combos. I generally like to keep AOE to the left trigger and single target to the right trigger if at all possible for all my jobs, tanks, healers, or DPS. We have our two AOE GCDs, Demon Slice and Demon Slaughter, and our technically third GCD AOE ability, Faded Circle, to which you use when you are in an AOE trash pool. Lastly, we have our gap closer here only for the reason that I didn't want to put it on the second cross hot bar because we're going to have to weave it in quite often for our rotation. And this was really only the available spot. Left trigger d-pad is our all important gunbreaker abilities and gnashing fang combo. And like I mentioned, it's kind of a weird mashup and weaving and double weaving so let's go over it. I specifically have them set this way for when we enter our first gnashing fang combo and then double weave blood fest and continuation together. From here most players would think you're going to continue your gnashing fang combo but we actually jump back over for our double down portion of the opener. I have burst strike here because after burst strike continuation will turn into hyper velocity to which we have close by for easy weaving. Lastly our left trigger 2 is our job abilities and roll like provoke which is the same spot for every one of my tanks and our three flex spots. For Gunbreaker, this is Aurora, Heart of Conundrum, and Heart of Light, which is basically just needed for AoEs and dungeons and trash pools. Of course, boss battles, you'll use them, but not really as much since you have some self-heal in your GCD combo, and your healer usually has OGCDs that they're using to keep you healed up. Our left trigger 2 d-pad is the same for every job tank which is arms length, limit break, low blow, and our tank stance. These are just situational and I don't want to accidentally press them so they're tucked in the corner. Cross hop R3 is shared between all my jobs so every job has access to those. Shirk also doesn't make it on the hop bar as I never had a need for all that in casual content, alliance raids, or even 8 man's raid. You only really need Shirk for Savage, Extreme, Unreals, or Ultimates so if you're not doing any high end content you don't need to worry about it. 
Now with this, we have our full setup for our level 90 Gunbreaker. These are highly personal setups, and I find that I struggle most with Gunbreaker cross hotbars, and this is kind of what I settled on for practicing for about an hour. So to figure out a practical setup for most players to use kind of took me a minute, but hopefully you get some value out of it. Honestly, once the rotation clicked, I kind of excited to play Gunbreaker now because it's a really, really strong opener. If this helps you even a little bit, don't forget to limit break through that subscribe button and watch my other tank controller setup guides. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy tutorials and guides, then you can click here.